Hi everyone, how are you doing? Engineer Liu here. Well, I'll be starting a new series of tutorials uh, on programming, more focused on software development, or in this case, uh, the C programming language. Well, uh, as you may, as some of you may already know, uh, C different from languages like Python, and Java Script, and Java, I believe. Uh, it's a compiled language, so basically this means that uh, you must first, uh, of course, compilation of a program is a is a multi-step process. But basically, you have to, in order to run your program, first you have to compile into machine code your source code, uh, which is in new human readable form. And then you can uh, compile, and then after you compile, you generate a binary, then you can execute it. So it's a two step process to run a program. So, in most uh, detail, more detail, um, here we have uh, the, f the process of compilation. Basically, uh, we have the pre processing, uh, which we will see next, where the compiler generates. Uh, a pre uh, a source a pre compiled uh, source file uh, including the pre processor directives and then uh, the compilation uh, per se happens when the compiler the C compiler generates the uh, assembly code and then uh, the assembler uh, generates the object file which would then be basically being uh, binary code and then if you have more than one object file it can it needs uh, they need to be all linked together and to then uh, generate an executable file okay so this is uh, in a nutshell the process of compilation so for this series of tutorials of using Linux uh, you can follow these tutorials uh, in Windows as well, I believe, for the most part. There will be some difference when uh, we'll be talking about uh, web sockets. It's a little bit different in Windows. But I'll be doing this series of tutorials in Linux. And I'll be using GCC compiler. You can check if you have a GCC compiler installed by typing GCC dash dash version. So I have a GCC for Debian, which is the Linux distribution I'm using. And if you don't have, you can install it if you're using uh, Debian-based Linux like Ubuntu, uh, sudo apt get install uh, GCC. Of course, you need to run a sudo apt apt get uh, update uh, before. So okay, let's get started. I already have. Uh, uh, GCC install. So let's create our first example. Uh, call it example one dot c. Okay. So for edit this file to code, I'm using vim. Um, for it's more. Uh, it's usually uh, regarded as a more old school way of coding, and I don't have the autocomplete tools for like from VS Code. So you have to type uh, command by command. I believe it's more uh, useful if you're learning a new language, your new language in order to memorize all the the uh, keywords and stuff. Okay, so I'm using Viam. Viam uh, example one dot c. So let's get started. So as I was saying, uh, one of the first steps of compilation is the preprocessing. Okay, so uh, in the, the beginning, usually in the beginning of uh, a C program, we have this uh, uh, includes here, okay? Uh, which uh, the compiler will read the uh, basic uh, libraries, uh, the pre standard C standard libraries, as well as another libraries that you may create for your software. So the basic uh, input here, the basic uh, header file is standard io.h, which h stands for header file. So basically this library here contains all 
the main, uh, the most utilized uh, input and output libraries in C as we will we'll see next. So all C programs have a function which we will see in another video in more detail what they are about. But they have a function called main. So here is what, here is where you will, you will uh, place uh, the main statements of your program. Uh, this is a function which returns uh, integer type. So uh, here in front of the function, which is, which is called main, it's a reserved name. We have uh, our first uh, reserved word in C, which is int for integer. Uh, for now, uh, our main function won't uh, receive any arguments here between parentheses. And then we have here double brackets which uh, they delimit uh, the scope of our function okay so every function here uh, in C is delimited by uh, is uh, double brackets here okay so as it's an uh, in integer function uh, it must return a type uh, of int integer usually it's uh, zero so if the uh, program run uh, runs successfully without any errors then uh, usually uh, the main function returns zero and in the C uh, all our statements must end with a uh, semicolon so the compiler knows that we have ended our uh, statement okay uh, C uh, you don't have to you don't have to worry too much about uh, formatting your program. It's not like Python, for example, that you must indent your code. But it's a good practice, for example, you are entering a new uh, scope of your code and then you enter tab or, I don't know, maybe two spaces. Usually tab is uh, what is used, okay? So this will be your first uh, C program. It's very simple. It doesn't do anything at all. It only creates uh, this function your main, and uh, if it runs successfully, it returns your OK. So press ask. Uh, if you're not familiar with Viam, you can start uh, typing by pressing I. Uh, here you can see it change it to insert at the bottom here. And then if you want to escape, uh, press ask, escape, and type uh, double uh, column, and then uh, write and quit, and exclamation mark. Okay, so let's see if we go to file here, we type cat, uh, example1.c. And here we have our very simple program that doesn't do anything much exciting, okay? So let's uh, compile it step by step. So first we generate our preprocessed file. Uh, remember, just to remember, uh, this isn't actually necessary. We can jump uh, straight to our object file and then run. But for now, for as a first example, I will show you step by step how the compilation, how compilation process works. Okay, so let's generate our preprocessed file. So we type gcc.e uh, example1.c. Okay, so and here we have. We can see that uh, the GCC compiler insert a, a great a big bunch uh, chunk of code. In our file, there are many functions here, many uh, variables, types here defined. And uh, right at the bottom, uh, we have our, actually our code that we wrote, okay, which is called example one. And here are all the includes that uh, GTC included for us without us having to do anything. So let's take a look at. Uh, Um, okay, so this is our all the includes here of uh, this library standard.io.h. Okay, 
So let's generate the assembly file. Okay, so let's compile GCC s for our source code. So GCC s capital S example one. Let's see. And uh, here you have here we go. Example one dot s. So let's take a look. Uh, in case uh, some of you may be already familiar, some of you may don't, but this is what looked like uh, this is what looks like uh, an assembly assembly program. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, syscalls here, uh, move operations uh, here. EAX is one uh, register, basically. Uh, where syscalls are made and here we have our main function uh, here we have uh, the GCC version of our compiler so this is uh, why it, uh, it's uh, what it looks like uh, an assembly file okay so now uh, we can uh, assemble uh, after we compile the assemble code, assembly code, we can then assemble it into an object file, which will already be uh, binary. Okay, so uh, we use uh, gcc c source dot c. Okay, so gcc example one dot c here dash so. And then we have uh, example one dot o. Uh, here we can already execute our program. Uh, we must link for, first. So in order to execute our program, we must uh, link it to an executable. So we use GCC example one dot o uh, dash uh, o. Let's call it example one and enter. And finally, we have here our executable file. Okay, so let's execute it then. And voila, apparently our program doesn't do anything, but we can check if uh, return the zero x ex expected, right? Uh, sorry, example one. Let's see. So we expect our program to return zero. So let's run example one and we type echo dollar sign interrogate show sign and as expected it return zero uh, let's see if we can make it return another value so let's edit uh, example one let me remove uh, these other files here remove uh, example one uh, example dot o example dot s okay so let's edit example one let's make a return um, I don't know maybe 42 why not okay so instead of doing this uh, step by step here this rather cumbersome for our simple example let's just uh, type gcc example one dot c dash o example one dot o okay so uh, here we have our binary file where we can uh, execute it and as expected it doesn't show up anything but we can check for its return value by typing echo dollar sign exclamation uh, interrogation mark and voila, we got as expected, expected uh, 42. Okay, so this was a very simple program just to show you um, the basics of the process of uh, compilation of a program in C. Also, but let's do uh, some more interesting stuff. Let's uh, make the famous uh, Hello World program. So I create another example, example 2.c, touch example 2.c here. So let's edit it. Include uh, standard IO H int main our main function return zero as standard 
and here we will print a hello world to the screen. We use a function from the standard I.O. which is called a print f print function. Okay, so let's say hello world. Um, some things to remark here. Uh, the argument uh, for this function printf is actually uh, it can have more uh, than one argument, but for now it takes a string, which is this hello world here, between double quotes. In C we use uh, double quotes for string and a single quote for char type. And here we have our string, which is our argument of this function between the parentheses. Uh, here we have uh, this special character, which stands for new line. So, um, uh, this backslash here, uh, and uh, which translates uh, in the standard output to a new line. And of course, we end our statement with a semicolon. Okay, so ask, write, and quit. And now we can compile our example 2.c dash o example 2.o. And okay, we created our example 2. And now we can execute our program. And voila, we managed to print hello world to the screen, our first uh, C program per se. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy this first tutorial on the C programming language and its basics. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you next time. Bye.